Alright guys, so I know it's been a little while since I made a video. Um, I'm not sure if I made a video on it, but the last barrel I bought uh, did bend when I was pressing it in. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it happened. Everything was going smooth and then all of a sudden at 39 PSI it just bananaed um, 3900 PSI. Um, so I bought a new barrel. I sent it out to get it populated because I didn't want to bend this one again. Uh, same Bulgarian Cold Hammer Forge barrel. Um, I sent it down to Lumen Arms to be populated and I got pretty much everything here except for the receiver to put it together and make it fire. Um, there's a couple things on this barrel that, that kind of bother me that Lumen Arms did but I'll show you those here in a minute after I go over everything that I've got since I made my last video. Um, so let's see. Uh, we'll start off with with the magazine I got here. It's a circle tin, uh, Bulgarian. It is. I loaded it a couple times. I got a thousand eighty rounds of uh, five four five, and I loaded it. It loads very smoothly. It's not very hard to load, even when you get down to the bottom. Uh, it all loads very, very nice, um, and it has a steel locking lug. Uh, I believe there's some steel in there. I'm not sure. Yeah, there is. Um, so that's that. And then I also, I know I already showed you guys this, but this modification I did, I took it to a bench grinder and kind of smoothed it out a little bit more so it it's more of a edge for it to grab. So that should be pretty nice whenever uh, I use it. And then moving on, you've already seen the Krebs. But I got this, which is a Red Star Arms adjustable trigger. Uh, has a couple adjustments right there, right there, and right there. I'll still have to figure out how to do that exactly. Maybe I'll make a video after I figure it out, after I get it all put together. But um, overall, it looks like a pretty good hammer. It's all milled from one part, one piece of metal. Um, and then I also got the retaining pen, pen retaining plate uh, with it. So trigger groups all done. You've already seen the pistol grip. Um, I also got a cleaning kit. That's what it looks like. So it comes with a punch, just like that. That's for taking the bolt apart. It also comes with a flathead screwdriver and a side adjustment tool. The uh, cool thing about this is you can put it through like that and kind of use this as a T handle flathead screwdriver. Um, then it also comes with a cleaning brush and a patch patch holder. So that's the cleaning kit. Um, next. Moving back, I have the, I redid the stock. Um, I also, this is just temporary for right now. I'm not gonna end up using this stock for very long. I have, or I'm going to get a AAOK, um, AK conversion buttstock tube. And then I'm also gonna get a double star TI-7, uh, AR-15, you know, collapsible buttstock. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be using, but time being, I modified this to work. Um, it works pretty good. It sits pretty flat just like like that on your body. It sits pretty much perfect. And then I made the sling. Um, so that's that. Yes, the buffer tube is coming off before anybody blows a gasket or the buffer, uh, the, the buffer right there. Um, so now I'll show you what's kind of bothering me about what Lumen Arms did. I mean, it's good work. Everything seems to line up pretty good. On you know everything lines up pretty good from what I can see on the barrel. I'm not sure if they laser bore sighted it or if they did anything like that. Um, so let's go ahead and take this apart. So there's two or three things that bother me about this. One of them I've already fixed myself. Oh, also. I put a little piece of paracord on there. That makes it pretty easy to take out. Um, 
So one of the things is that right there. The barrel pin is not even close to being pushed all the way through. I assume he did that because he knew I was taking the trunnion off to put the receiver on. Um, but it, it kind of bothers me it wasn't pushed all the way through. And you can see there's quite a bit of a gap right there. Um, see how that's sticking out a good quarter inch. And I, like I said, I assume he did that because he knew I was taking the trunnion off to put the uh, receiver on. Um, another thing, I already fixed it, but that was a very, very rough cut. It looked like they took a Dremel tool with uh, just a cutting a, a cutting disc and kind of cut it in there. So I filed it all down and it works pretty good now. Um, the another thing is this right here. This pin is mushroomed out pretty good. Um, it's supposed to go in the hole. Obviously it is not even close to anywhere being all the way through and it's mushroomed pretty good. Um, that kind of bothers me but they did get it to me. I uh, get it done very quickly, which I am very happy about. Other than that, everything looks good. The quality looks good. Just a few little, you know, nitpicky things that they could uh, could improve on. Maybe I'm just uh, picky, but those were a couple things that kind of bothered me. Other than that, everything looked good. Um, so let's put this back together here. And you can see this little piece of paracord helps out quite a bit. And just take it. Just slides right in. Alright. that and then I also bought this Tapco side adjustment tool. It adjusts for uh, elevation right here and then windage is this little adjustment right here. It actually pushes the barrel, um, the sight pin barrel right there. Um, other than that I think you guys have pretty much seen everything. Um, like I said I have the I'm going to buy the AOK, uh, AK buttstock tube uh, conversion along with the Double Star TI7 uh, buttstock. Then I'm thinking about getting the Manicore Arms um, Night Break. I'm not sure if I will or not. It says it does pretty much the same uh, effectiveness as far as recoil, but it also flies, flies, or hides the flash very well. Um, then when I get the Texas Weapon System top cover to replace this one, I'm still debating on optics. I think I'm going to buy a really good piece of glass, uh, you know, so I'll pretty much never have to buy another piece of glass uh, for the rest of my life as far as tactical goes. And I think I'm going to get a Trigicon AccuPoint with the TR24 um, reticle, which is the German one, one post with a little triangle at top. Um, and then also the Dublin RCS, uh, Dublin AK systems, RCS2, which is a left hand charging handle. Um, other than that, I think everything's pretty much uh, done. It should be shootable in the next week, I would say. And uh, the receiver's coming from Nodax Bud. That should be here any day now. I was actually supposed to be here last Friday, and today is Wednesday or Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Um, but you can get an idea of what it, you know, what it's going to look like, and uh, hopefully I can get it running and everything, and it should be one of the uh, best AKs around, I would say. Um, I have all my jigs and everything, and have plenty of ammo to fix out, work out the bugs, um, the go and no-go gauges. Uh, it's all headspace very well from Lumen Arms, and it, it, uh... It's very tight with the go, but on the, I just use this as a field gauge. Um, as far as that goes, it, it all cycles very smoothly. Um, so hopefully in the next couple days I'll have a 
a video of it shooting and uh, up and running. Or I might have one putting it together, I'm not sure.